Hey, hey folks, it's Lindsey Hollison with SPS back in the building over at Renaissance High School for their media day, and I'm with the general himself, my guy, uh, should I say, Pastor John D. White? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. See, I, we got to give you your appropriate recognition because yes, coaches do a great thing, but you uh, got a whole different experience going on. So before we get into, get into ball, mm -hmm. what has your growth been like? Where are you at, you know, as it relates to your spiritual presence right now? Oh, man, it's, you know, it's about... Uh, it's about life change and being more disciplined, you know, to the teachings and doings, man, of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, man. So I take it, you know, I don't take it for granted. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm honored and I'm humble, you know, for my bishop, Will Thornton, to put me in a position in the, the place of the pastor, you know, at King of Kings in the National Church. So, man, I, I, I'm humbled by it mm -hmm. daily, and um, I'm excited to see what the Lord is going to do. I appreciate that. I think it's, it's, it's noteworthy to know. Uh, what you're centered on, what you're rooted in. So with no further ado, let's talk about, man, all these monsters you had. Come sit down with me, man. 6'5". <laughs> I'm talking about freshmen, sophomores. Mm -hmm. You got any singers? Man, I got one singer. <laughs> wow. You got a singer. young team, yeah. John. Young team, Young man. talented team. Yeah, very talented, man. Um, it's crazy, man. You know, you, you lose one and two come in and, you know, you're not even – Knowing that they come in, you just man, I'm just I, blessed. I know some biblical references to that. Eddie. Hey man, I'm blessed, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you talk about that. You've been able to, um, you know, steady, be steady throughout the storm over here uh, in this great facility and having these great young men. Uh, I talk about Lance and Jordan in particular having those great offers. I was just with uh, Tyler Spratt and Landon Williams over mm -hmm. at North Farmington, and shout out to all the young men and Chaz Lewis as well. Great kids. Who, uh, yeah, you already know. But how hard is it to get a Division One offer, man? Now with this transfer portal and yeah. everything, uh, man, it's, it's tough, man. I had a couple of kids who was Division One guards. Um, my nephew, you mm -hmm. know, Division One guard had some high Division One interest, but um, went down to Mount Verde. He's down there playing the post grad year, man, doing phenomenal mm -hmm. work down there mm -hmm. with uh, Giovanni Woods, man, mm -hmm. and, and that program. So it's hard, man. You know, because now they only taking so many high school guys, yeah, and um, everything else is coming from the portal. Yeah, what does it say about a player, a high school player that's getting a Division? Division one offer. What does it say about that player and what the ability they have and things like that? I think it's just um, it's a testament to they continue to them continually getting better, yeah. and being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, yeah. Um, AAU mm -hmm. plays a, a huge role. It does. So, so here's a situation where we could you know, AAU gets his own type of rap one way or the other. You mm -hmm. know, I know people you know start spitting when you say AAU, mm -hmm. but AAU is beneficial to these guys getting these offers right now. Most definitely. Yeah, most definitely because yeah. now you're on the circuit, you're in front of these college coaches, and they're seeing. Not only what you're doing, but your potential of what you can be. Mm -hmm. You know, so they're they're in the right place at the right time. And mm -hmm. then if you seize the moment, you know, I got two kids, three three or four kids here who just seized the moment on the AAU circuit, mm -hmm. man. And now, you know, college is calling. You know, they flood the gym. Wow. Yeah. Yo, yo, just be looking like a uh, NBA All Star Weekend <laughs> or NCAA <laughs> Final Four. You know, you bring a man, man. You have um, all the top coaches coming in. Why is that? I mean, I always tell people, man. It's no secret. Relationships precede everything. And I'm big on relationships and not burning bridges. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, if anybody have anything bad to say about me, they haven't developed a relationship with me. They don't know me. To know. You know. So um, at the end of the day, man, you know, you want to put your kids and the, your players in a position just to be seen. Mm -hmm. Even if a coach come just because I have a relationship with them and they look at the kids, I'm putting them in a position to be seen by college coaches. Because guess what? They got friends that they can sure. call and say, hey, man. Sure. Sure, sure. I was just at Renaissance, man. It's a kid over there I think would be great for your mm -hmm. program. So that's how that that's, that's mm -hmm. how it work, you know what I'm saying? And the coach might be at another school in two or three years, you know what I'm saying, while he seen a kid that was here that was a freshman. Yeah. So. And getting those young men prepared for coaches to come in and be evaluated. Correct. I'm sure it's a different feeling when the coaches come in compared to when they're not. Most definitely. Most definitely. Not. That's how I tell them. We got to practice like Tom Izzo, Jawan Howard, Nate Oaks, all them guys are sitting in the stands or sitting on the sideline watching. Which, which, which is a reality because those guys would be in here. Most definitely. Yeah, so you right. let them know that's a good thing. Talk about what this season going to look like for you. Man, I know it's a, it's a season of growth, man. I think everything is going to come full circle for me finally here at 
Renaissance. Um, got a great group of kids. Uh, work hard. All my guys ran, ran cross country. And, and not only ran, but ran it as in uh, Lance brought the trophy home, huh? They ran the city, man. Yeah. Ran the city, won the PSL championships. They did. They did phenomenal, man. They bought into what I'm trying to instill into them. And Lance took a, a huge step in leadership, yeah. man. Um, and he's been phenomenal, man. You know, since last year, man. And just he's, his growth, his growth and his maturity. Sure. Understanding the weight of the crown that he wears. Sure. And as a leader and as a point guard, so y'all ain't gonna be arm wrestling on the sideline nah, like that. Man, nah, you know, <laughs> Lance, you know, you know, you know how it is, man. You know, you have a coach that's competitive, you have a player that's competitive. So, and two guys that play, I play point guard, he play a point guard. So, you know, Lance is an extension of me on the basketball mm-hmm. court. You know, at times I look at him, he look at me, and say, Coach, let's do X, Y, Z. Wow. And I say, Go ahead, man. Wow. You know, so to have that extension on the basketball court is a blessing wow. within itself. So, what's something that's gonna surprise people about Renaissance basketball this season? Man, I think um I think I will live. I will live for athletic season. Yeah, you got LA coming over here, all the six five <laughs> fresh, man. Big boy, big boy, you man. You him out back where you get him from, coach. Hey, man, hey, he was over at John R. King. Uh-huh. He came over here for a visit to the school. Uh-huh. You know when they do the, the DPS visits uh-huh. to the middle schools, and he he loved it, man. He loved really? what he seen, and the rest is history. He's an old soul because I said something. He said what he likes to do. I said, well, when were you doing that? Back in eighth grade. I said that was just a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> but had I not known, not just just his size but his presence and his maturity mm-hmm. but and also too let me take a step back to acknowledge this school mm-hmm. I was in here earlier setting up man and some young men were doing a project and with all due respect to all of our kids throughout the city throughout the state there's a level of respect a level of uh, confidence that these young men have and I'm listening to their conversation and the, the way they're engaging with me and just I think when you have a high level of intellect it brings so many other things how has that benefited your program man a lot man you know um it, it's easy to be taken for granted, right? Yeah, these, a lot of these kids, they, they highly intelligent. They're highly intelligent, man. they smart. Sometimes they, they too can smart. be too smart. Yeah, you got to stay on your toes, huh? <laughs> you got to stay on them, man. But, um, man, it's a great environment here, man. Yeah. It's a great environment, great kids, great um, administration. Yeah. You know, that backs the athletic program. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, wow. That's and uh, I think that's that's huge. Uh, Principal Strider, she supports us. Um, all the APs, they support us, man. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, we're coming together, even as coaches, and mm-hmm. sharing athletes. Mm-hmm. Which I believe, you know, like the old St. Martin de Porres oh, days and things yeah. like that. Uh, when you share athletes, man, that's how you build success in the culture within right. the school. I get that. And one thing I want to add to that for some of the young people watching and parents watching who kind of get to the point where they want to be too cool for school and they don't really want to embrace the intellectual part. You know this as well as anyone else. Those coaches want to know how smart you are because that's talking about how quick you can pick up a play, mm-hmm. how quick you can understand <clears throat> something. And what did Mike Krzyzewski say, you know, what, what what's the curfew for our players? He said that they don't have one they know what mm-hmm. they need to do so I think young people need to understand um, I think one of your young men said they don't know how hard I study is they need to understand how important the academic part and embracing you know intelligentsia is so mm-hmm. I just want to be able to put that out there John you've done a great job uh, with what you have you you always seem to find the right kind of kids coming over here um, what does success look like for you man success is just it's beyond the basketball court you know basketball gonna take care of, take care of itself mm-hmm. man but what do people say about your character? You know what I'm saying? Your gift will always get you in the room, but your character, you know, will determine how long you stay. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. We got we got to say run that back. <laughs> say that again. Man, your gift will get you in the room, you know what I'm saying, but your character will determine how long you stay there. You know, so it's a lot of gifted athletes all over the city of Detroit, all, over the state, all in the state of Michigan. But, man, it's, a, it's the character piece, man. Yeah. It's the character piece that, that will stick with people far beyond the basketball court. So, it, all things being equal if a kid is an outstanding basketball player or athlete and they know what they need to do to develop their ball game how do they develop the character man you know it's just I think it's their environment you know putting 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 themselves around people man that's going to make them better individuals you know what I'm saying not just drilling basketball 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 but no man you got to eat right you got to treat people right that janitor that you see every day might mess around mm. be the CEO one day and they're going to remember how you treated them. You know what I'm saying? Or those, or those thorough coaches that come looking for the janitor to say, tell it. me about John D. White. You got it. <laughs> what, what, type of, what type of person is he? Yeah. How do he treat you every day? Yeah, how do he 
treat you, yep. not the principal, how do you treat you? How and you that can be a game changer. Before I let you get out of here, I couldn't, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up high school NIL. It's amazing that we're mm-hmm. talking about that. I appreciate you being part of um, the three part series I had this summer talking about college NIL. Mm-hmm. But within a short amount of time, we're talking about a House Bill 4816. Uh, it passed the House. There's a lot of miseducation. People think that it's currently law now, which mm-hmm. you and I know that it's not. Right. Can you allay some concerns that people may have about high school NIL potentially being uh, with us as soon as uh, March or April 2024? Man, I, you know, I think with the whole NIL piece, man, you have to be, you have to, you got to do your research. You know, you don't want to get into a situation where, you know, like you said, become legal, it become law where, you know, you're messing up a kid's future because you're not, you don't fully understand it. Mm-hmm. I'm all for everybody branding branding themselves Mm -hmm. but don't let that become the main focal point you know what I'm saying of this NIL piece because it's easy to get into it but it's also easy to lose yourself in it yeah and I want to give you some additional credit give you your roses you've been ahead of the game for a minute I mean Mm -hmm. I know people looking at you like you had three eyeballs when you was talking about the black athlete and having your own brand I mean Mm -hmm. just talk about within a short amount of time how that went from probably being something people weren't ready for it to being almost a norm right now oh man it's, it's, it's even right now Lindsay you know, it's transforming yeah. to where... Wasn't they looking at you crazy, though, when I you came at, with that? Like, what you doing? What you talking about? <laughs> you know, right. I just took three words, man, that people say every day, man, and made it a brand, you know, and kind of cornered corner the market with it. Yeah. You know, and, you know, now it's coming to a point where people want me to be an umbrella to help young black athletes get NIL deals. So you take them on, because now my corporate connections... Absolutely. ...that I have with a black athlete could benefit kids to have NIL deals. How do you feel about that? Uh, you know, we got to... We, we got to see because um, I, w- I want to learn more about the high school. I'm, I'm solidified in the college aspect, but right. now this high school thing is a different. It's a different animal. It's a different right beast. Open. And let me say this too: one of the expansions I'm having, along with looking at the high school NIL, is the policy part. Because mm-hmm. now it's always been big business, but now it's officially big business. And I think someone like you, which is the reason I got with you and Darian Harris at Michigan State, um, uh, also Yolanda uh, uh, Megatron moms, Yolanda Marsh, mm-hmm. all these people who are working that space to say, let me bring some people who have some skin in the game and know what they're talking about to discuss it, but I think it's going to be a growth opportunity for everyone. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I appreciate you. Is there anything else you want to touch on or share? Any shout-outs you want to give before we let you go? Man, shout-out to my sons, Israel and Josiah. They can, they can always get theirs, can't they? Always. Always yeah. give it up to his boy. King of Kings International Church. Uh-huh. Uh, my bishop, Will Thornton, you know, Detroit Renaissance High School. And to you, my man, I appreciate you, family. I appreciate you, and always. I was just sitting there thinking, I can't wait to come over here and sit right here in this seat <laughs> with these games. Going. Are you guys hosting any um, any games as far as relates to any uh, championships or finals or regionals or anything? Only thing we're doing here, we're doing the PSL um, Christmas Christmas oh, tournament. okay. Yeah. That was like the 26th, 27th, 28th? Yep. yep. Okay, that yep. should be great. And this yep. is the venue for, hey, you can't go wrong with John D. White. Great guy with a great program. you got to come watch these young men and what they got going on. I'm grateful to uh, be in the presence of this guy in this program. So with that being said, this is Lindsey Housen with SPS. we see you next time. Peace. Peace.